I feel like I'm floating along, viewing things differently than everyone else. Just like looking through murky water, unable to see clearly. I hear people talking, talking to me, telling me, telling me to do horrible things. Um, but they're not horrible all the time, I think. The problem is, I can't see anyone around me, no mods moving, no people talking. It's, it's almost like a dream, isn't it? It feels real at the time, and then suddenly you're sucked back into reality. The thing is, the thing is that reality never quite sets in. What is up everyone? This is Miguel from PS Best Friends. I'm here to talk about and give my impressions of Hellblade Senua Sacrifice. Uh, the game is made by the developer Ninja Theory. It's obviously a indie studio trying to make a AAA level game. Uh, I think, in my opinion, that they have accomplished that. Uh, the game is based on Senua. She's a Celtic warrior that is trying to retrieve the soul from his boyfriend slash lover. I think it's boyfriend. Um, through hell. So the game looks beautiful. Beautiful. I mean, for a indie level studio, it's it's outstanding how the game looks. It controls great. The game I played it on a PS4 Pro, and the game is 60 frames per second on a Pro. I'm sure the graphics are gonna look a lot better on the Pro and gonna feel better than a regular PS. Or console um, the gameplay that you're watching is recorded in a Elgato capture cut the HD so that's 30 frames so I'm sorry that it's not capturing at 60 frames but I can't afford it so yeah uh, yeah but the game looks beautiful the gameplay is feels great um, the story the main thing for this game is the story. So the story, like I said, you're embarking in a mission to go and retrieve your boyfriend's soul because he's dead. You don't know why. You, when the game starts, you know there's something wrong with her. On the meaning that you hear, she hears voices. Why you had to start playing the game so you could find out. Uh, the game doesn't have a hub, so the voices are the guide for you. So if you don't have um, a good surround sound or good headphones or decent headphones, and you're just playing on the regular TV, <clears throat> you're not going to have the same experience. So the game definitely needs you to play with headphones, obviously. But if you have a good surround sound, play like that. I played half of the game with a surround sound and it sounded great. But when I put on the headphones, it was just way different because you were hearing voices from all over the place. I don't know how they did it, but it's just <clears throat> that feeling that you get when someone's obviously she's hearing the voices, but you hear someone behind you it's like you know when you're um you're there's combat so um, it's not advanced it's just simple uh, light attack um, heavy attack melee uh, black evade it's just simple uh, eventually when you get farther on the game there's different enemies so you gotta learn their uh, moves in a way, uh, 
<clears throat> when let's just say you're attacking someone and there's two enemies around your three you're you're focusing on one so you're attacking that person that enemy and someone behind you is gonna attack you you don't have a an indicator like in Batman that shows you oh someone's gonna attack you behind you so you gotta counter, counter it the voices tell you there's a voice behind it feels like behind behind you when you're you had headphones so you hear the voice someone's attacking you behind you behind you so you gotta turn around quick or just press the block button and it's gonna automatically uh, bl fucking phone you got you guys hear that god damn it oh well uh you're gonna hear that voice coming through and you're gonna know that you gotta either evade that move obviously move or or block it uh, let's see. The like I said, there's no HUD, so you there's no indicator for you to know where to go. The voices guide you, so you gotta listen to those voices. Like, oh, you gotta go. Uh, there's an open field, and you don't know where to go. The voices are gonna tell you, there's a ladder there. There's a, a, a mountain. Go to the mountain. Uh, just listen to those bosses. The game feels um, it gives the bias of a horror horror game, so um, the camera works with that. When you're fighting, the camera gets closer behind her. Uh, it moves back. the The feeling when you're going through uh, a dark room or when there's low lighting. And then the voices start going off like that's not real it's a real I don't know it, it's it's gives you that feeling of you're there with her uh, it's a you feel a connection to her in my opinion uh, one of the other mechanics that the game has is the puzzles so some of them are complicated i think one of them took me a little bit to understand what to do because the game obviously doesn't tell you what to do uh, it's just pretty much it gives you some uh, different angle puzzles or um, as you say like a cross or like a, a symbol like an s or markers like that and you just gotta go around and find them where they're at uh, the screen when you're getting close where that symbol is uh, the screen gives you that same symbol but it's just little ones so you know you are around it uh, when you find it it tells you there's a visual marker that tells you that you found it either you gotta find another one or go and open a door um, the story obviously Senua is going through an effect of uh, psychosis, hey, delusion, and the game has a good balance of not going, not going over that line. In my opinion, um, it's just more how they did it. There, I, I don't know how to describe it. You gotta play the game to figure it out. And like I have said, you feel that personal connection because I think everyone has some type of um, feeling of voices sometimes or I'm probably messed up too <laughs> um, the voice is just you're working out or whatever and you think you hear something or you're just doing your mind in your business and you hear something or or you think you saw something everybody has some type of that and and obviously psychosis um, it's nothing to brag about or uh, make fun of a lot of people go through that and Ninja Theory do a good job on telling a good story and not going over that line in my opinion uh, the story in my opinion so far that I have played is one of the best stories so far this year would I recommend this game yes definitely I think everyone 
looking for a great story um, should buy this game should try it eventually hopefully this year um, support Ninja Theory and what they're trying to do a indie developer studio trying to make AAA games SR obviously but I think they nailed it uh, those are my impressions for Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice I love the game um, I, That's not reason. like I said I recommend it for everyone you hope you guys buy it enjoy it enjoy the story and, it has and uh, if you like this video and my impressions of it give it a like maybe a subscribe of the soul. Uh, peace out until there is nothing left of her Just a minute.